so um, yeah the 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 co the the rank of coaches will not be matching but they will be the same style of coaches which that's fine by me I now have a seven car passenger express train I just don't have a locomotive that typically would haul such a thing but I can get by with what I have for now and it does look like one of the manufacturers is producing um, a more appropriate locomotive in a more appropriate livery so there's that but those should arrive on Tuesday I also bought a couple of cheap packets of um, top haulings so I can cover my open wagons or some of them For some of the others I was noticing, I probably need to get some realistic coal so I can load up the coal train as well. Uh, that's, that's all progress. I think today after the stream I will... I may watch a movie. TV and then that'll be about an hour, two hours I can eat my lunch and then I will go to the basement and finish off what I was doing down there okay we have done field 20 so that that's not the road that's that's the farm path So I can get paid again. We should do that. Getting paid is awesome. If I can figure out where payment is there. That was cheap. And then field 86,000. So that's that's going to put us up to 14, 15 ish thousand. So when we get that one done. Um, I've got enough cash to run the cedar with a worker. We'll do the two contracts which will give us a little bit more income. Um, while I collect the grass which is really not going to take us long. And then We can uh, look at some other things. Now the reason I, I actually had the opportunity to buy the uh, two passenger cars was um, I've got another rake on my wish list and that was supposed to be releasing by the end of November. And there are six different liveries ranging from 1910 through or 1913 through um, 1960 I want to say and so they're only producing three of the liveries in November or delivering three of the liveries in November and the livery I want isn't going to get delivered till February next year so that's another yay um, I have longer to save up for them which means I can spend some of my money on some other things um, over winter uh, next field row which means city skylines 2 might be a thing uh, Farming Simulator Season Pass 3 might be a thing. And come on, anything that comes up on the Steam sale might be a consideration too. I 
dear. Oh, run. But yeah, it's... It needs to come along. My big expense next is probably going to be wood. Lumber. Plywood sheets. And foam board. Because... Um, it's getting close to the time I should be thinking about laying boards for the track so that I can then get round to laying the track and I've got most I've got all of the straight track I need at least for the immediate future I don't have any switches or points if you're from the UK so uh, those tend to be a little bit pricey but I will work through to the point where I need a few and can order some. And then uh, control systems are going to be frightfully expensive, but you know, if I can source stuff from the US, I will. So things like controllers, uh, power controllers, switches, um, cabling, um, digital control modules for the locomotives, all of those sorts of things. I source from America because it's cheaper than ordering from the UK, getting charged a premium for currency conversion, getting charged for shipment and all of the other expenses that go with um, doing it that way. Um, unfortunately, I think most of the importers now um, are out of business, and that's because they're, they're in their 50s and 60s, and they've been importing stuff from the UK to sell to the American and Canadian audience and um, they're in their 50s and 60s and it's sort of I've been doing this for you know quite a few years and I'd like to retire now and nobody really wants to take over from them so they close down the business and there's three or four that I've used or, ha or know of and have considered using that have closed in the last 10 years and they're usually very helpful people you know if if they don't have it they they know the other businesses that stock them and they'll just say okay well to get your business I'll call around and get what you're looking for there is one company I have now found that does sell um, UK colour match paints which is kind of awesome because you can't import paint from the UK or it's very very difficult um, the issue is generally that uh, since 2001 and Homeland Security and all the rest of that they basically said you can't transport liquids internationally now if you're a big business you can bring stuff in internationally because you can get a pallet of stuff and ship it over but Outside of that, you're kind of, if you're personal use, it's like, you have to play a courier to do that. I ain't paying someone's plane ticket both ways to bring me a couple of small bottles of paint. Maybe I'll pay my dad that, but yeah. Okay, we are done with that, but we are still going to need it, so I'm not going to empty it yet. Oh, now I ha yeah I have seen some of those auto load trailers that just 
carry everything. <coughs> okay. Done with that. It's quite handy. I mean, a, a lot of the trailers I have used in the past are... Um, what's it? Uh, bales only. So, or... Um, we did use the auto load um, TLX truck in the last series, which would auto load stuff from pallets into boxes in the back and then auto unload them when you got to where you were going. Which I mean that was that was nice enough, um, and. Uh, I will say that I did eventually put it on cheat mode so that it would um, it would carry about ninety thousand um, liters of stuff, but that's only because I did, uh, uh, by that point I was doing most of the selling myself. And the sell point was way across the other side of the map, and I really didn't want to uh, okay that one uh, seed box on the bottom looks a little bit close to the ground. Oh, there's another fertilizing contract eighty six um, can I accept that now? We are going to do the seeding contract starting with 23, which is this way. And Cameo, welcome to the stream. And I just missed my turning. Reading text and driving. Sorry, dude. so we should probably think about that. Sunflowers. There we go. Okay, 23. We could do it this way. Uh, 23 is... Hmm. Straight up. Okay. So again, this is another six-ish meter cedar. I think it's about six-ish, 6, ish, 6 .7 meter, it might be. I think you're supposed to put the, uh, the fertilizer in the front, but that probably gives me about 300 liters of seed in the planter itself, so just so happens that maybe this would be the better option. <coughs> we can set it loose and it will do all the things. I'm going to drop it to 6.7. We'll do sharp corners. Clockwise at the end. Centre first. Up and down. 11% overlap. Go. And it looks like we start here. Pretty much. And we'll get this lined up and we will go and collect some grass. Because that's just going to be the easier thing to do. Since we haven't used this yet, what? Really? Okay. Seriously. Let me see. Ah, oh, maybe. So the tank on the front has to be used for um, fertilizer. But it can be used for this purpose. Hmm. Do I have 
hold it first? Probably. Kind of makes sense, you have to unfold it before you can load it. Come on. Do I have to use a tractor to do this? That would be most annoying if I do. Go. I see. So, that should be filled up at the back, which it is, 630 litres. Um, I think I will load the front thing up, just so that we don't forget them. Well, you learn something new every day. And what we learn today is this is going to be a pain in the butt to use. Oops, where's the first waypoint to go? You know what I think it is? Uh, course play. Wages, automatic repair, don't repair, fuel threshold, don't refill, broken threshold, no. Um, open out from else, fuel tier, blah blah blah. Using the Pathfinder in turns. Okay. Um, return to starting point deactivated. Raise tools. Uh, tool offset. Sewing machines use fertilizer. Deactivated. That's what I was looking for. So it was upset because we didn't actually have any fertilizer. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Okay, next thing. Uh, is it this one? Automatic repair. Don't repair broken threshold. You can do it whenever you want. So with that, I could drop it down to 70% and it would stop once a piece of equipment got to 70%. Okay, should we try this again? Go. Oops. So it lowers the thing and off it goes and we disappear in a cloud of smoke. So let's have a look at this piece of equipment. I mean, I'll give them that. The, the horse pack is a highly detailed pack with all the individual suspension on everything. Meanwhile, we have a job to do and we can't hang around because this farm needs to make money to pay off our debts. So now the nice thing here is once we've collected all of this, can hitch back up to the spreader or we can spread to this field again and then I can do the whole hokey pokey and turn myself around and do another contract that we just picked up which should be back a ways behind us I think somewhere 
So, how is the sunflower dude doing? He is doing the thing. 24 minutes to plant that field is the estimation. So this won't be too many um, road or too many loads of grass from this field, I don't think. It is completely limed because we did all that at the end of last season. We limed everything, we fertilized everything, so it, it's a very good yield. We could actually check on that when we're done. Because now that we've harvested these fields, they will be, um, they will have updated their environmental scores. So we might suddenly have um, an increase in our environmental score sale bonus percentage thing, which will be good. then oh I keep forgetting this thing has a I kind of call it a trailing pickup the pickups not right behind the tractor it's underneath the trailer So the pickup's way back just in front of that front axle as opposed to way back behind the tractor or way up behind the tractor. A lot of these loading wagons, the pickup is same as a baler, right behind where the tractor is. Packed it up to 7%. That's awesome. Not so much. Anyway. So possibly three rows or oh, two and a half loads off that. I think I'm kind of hoping to have about 600,000 litres of grass in the uh, clamp at the end of this. And then... Uh, That should give us, I think, about 150,000 income next month. We'll have a lower income the following month because we'll just have the two grass fields. And then third cut, we'll have two fields of um, maize and our normal fields of grass to finish out the year. And as I said, we do want to buy some more fields so that we can boost that income over the course of the year. I'm still thinking these local grass fields around that side of the farm are definitely looking to be a good investment prospect. But right now those fields are overpriced so I'm not, I thought I saw a patch of grass that I did, it's about three litres. Yeah, it's, it's not something I'm going to overpay for, but if we've got the money, or if we can get the money in the bank, as soon as the price on those fields drops to reasonable levels, 
we'll go get them. Don't know if that's grass there or not. thirds done. Actually we're more than two thirds done. So the merge doesn't has some issues where it comes to this um, loading wagon, I think it's fair to say. If I could do two headlands easily, I probably would, and it would probably work out a bit better. But uh, I'm close enough, I think, for now. If I remember rightly, the secret to doing a silage bunker is to park the tractor outside of the bunker and then set it all up that way. But it's so long since I actually got it to work. bit of a challenge. It's like setting up all the software on my work PC when I get a replacement because the old one broke. Um, I've done it three or four times, I just don't quite recall the steps you have to go through. And on my latest work PC, I don't have the authority to take the steps that I need to to install software. There's a piece of software I'm supposed to have installed. Talk to the help desk. Oh, we don't install that piece of software. Oh, who do I talk to for that? This guy. Okay. Um, how do I install this piece of software? Well, first of all, you need to do this, this, and this. Okay. I'm not authorized to do that because only the help desk is authorized to do that. So we still haven't got that piece of software installed. And it's a source code editor, which as a programmer is quite an important piece of software to have installed on your PC. But uh, you just end up with I've got a source editor that works. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but it works. Um, I, don't, um, you know, I don't have to have all the bells and whistles, but for crying out loud, it would be so much easier if I could have all the bells and whistles. Um, how are we doing with that seeding contract? We are down... Ooh. 60%. Actually, it's not the 60% that's in the tank at the front. It's the, the how much is left in the uh, thing at the back. Okay, that is all of the grass. Yay. Grass is done. 